Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk, and so I'm going to do a contest entry here. This is for Trevor's Flat, Round, and Spun. And so his contest is not too hard. I'm going to show three albums. Then I'm going to give a shout-out, and then it'll be done. Um, so he wanted us to show the first bought, gifted, or oldest record that still has meaning to you. Um, I don't really know how much meaning this has to me anymore. I never talk about Kiss, and I'm not a Kiss fan, but I am the right age to have been a Kiss fan when I was a child. And so in the late 70s, um, I actually had four Kiss records. Um, I never had the earliest records. I never had the famous live record that kind of broke them. I had Love Gun, I had Destroyer, and I had a couple of the solo albums. The Love Gun and Destroyer have um, disappeared over the years, but I still have... The two solo records, I happen to have the Paul and the Gene, and I'm going to show the Paul Stanley solo record because I think it's the better of the two records. Um, I know generally the Ace record is considered the best of the Kiss solo records, but I don't have it. So you can see there's the Casablanca label, uh, the uh, sort of custom label uh, with Paul's picture on it, and so... Uh, I don't think I've ever shown a KISS record in a video before, and I may never do it again, but there you go. Um, show your single most recent purchase. So um, hitting the hometown uh, antique malls a couple days ago. Um, there is the one place that has the interesting box of records that I get records or 12-inch singles from, and he kind of puts out a few new ones every month. And so this is Depeche Mode. This is the 12-inch single for Blasphemous Rumors. And so one side has Blasphemous Rumors on uh, 45 RPM. The second side has four songs. They were all recorded live. That side's at 33 RPM, including songs like Somebody and Everybody Counts. So this is one of those weird records you've got to change the speed for. If you're one of those people that has to change the belt on your turntable, you probably don't like that record. Uh, show an album that never lets you down. Okay, so I became a big Cure fan when I was in college. Um, and the one that came out in 1989 was The Cure Disintegration. I'm showing the CD because that may have been the first CD I ever bought. If it wasn't the first CD I bought, it was certainly one of the first few. More recently, I got it on vinyl. And yeah, I didn't take it out of the plastic sleeve. Shame on me. The gatefold ones are a pain to take in and out. Um, but hey, um, the cure disintegration will never let me down. It's like if I'm in kind of a funky mood, I'm going to stay in that funky mood. Uh, but I really do uh, like that album. And finally, give a shout out to another channel that has less subs than you. And so somebody I recently discovered, and I even... I haven't even dived too much into his content yet, but I can see he's one of those guys that's got really eclectic taste. I know he had a video about uh, Ukrainian punk, um, and so this is another one of our um, vinyl community members from England. His name is Mike Vinyl Spiral. Um, as of the last time I checked, he was just under 100 subscribers. Um, he says he's from Yorkshire, so... Um, if you are looking for another one of those eclectic taste um, YouTubers, he's a fairly new one. And so go check out Mike Vinyl Spiral and Trevor's Flat Round and Spun. And I'm Chris from Racket Talk. And I did this in under five minutes.